Hello everybody, Jess here, Key Tarot. Welcome to you all. This is gonna be a real quick general reading. I don't know who it's for or what it will be about. It might be your story today, it might not be. Let's say a quick blessing and we will find out, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. All righty. I am gonna use this um, Star Power Tarot to start. I hope you guys are doing well today. It is rainy. I know I look like it's January at my house, but it's actually not. It's um, just chilly and rainy out. I like it. Ah, I've got the sun out. That's Leo energy. Um, that's the sign that we're in right now. It might be your birthday. Happy birthday if it is. Um, the sun card is the happiest card in the deck. It's like healing, it's warmth, it's growth, it's um, it's just positive all the way around. I like that. I have the Ace of Wands. Wow, somebody here has got all the good vibes going. It's like, um, oh, this, this is such beautiful energy. This is like a lot of fire, obviously, with the Ace of Wands here. And um, so on the bottom of the deck, I have the Three of Swords, which is the energy of like an, a painful ending or a difficult time getting through something. It can be grief. It can be pain. It can be a breakup. It can be... Um, having to let go of something that you loved or someone that you loved very much. And that's good that thing that you've got all this positivity. You may have recently been through something that was a little challenging, but it's like, now we have some kind of a new beginning here for you. It's like, I, I was just, I couldn't figure out a way to describe what I was seeing in my head, but it's like someone they're, they have like a whole new mindset, like a whole new mentality almost. Like, and, and it, it's, it, it's like framing your day. It's like changing the way you're living your life somehow. It's a lot of positivity. Ah, three of wands and the seven of pentacles. Okay, um, so a lot of you, ah, uh, um, this Three of Wands is the Minor Arcana of the Magician, which I have looking at me over here on this other deck. I guess I'm going to use that one in a minute. Um, but this is someone who kind of knows what's coming. Um, and you, you've been planning for your life. You've been planning. You've set up um, some steps here that you've needed to take to um, kind of plan for your future. There's an energy of manifestation here where you're kind of creating a reality that is much healthier, much more positive for yourself than you were experiencing before. This seven of pentacles is a card of waiting. It's a card of waiting to see how much, lo how much longer is this going to take for all of this to get here. It's, it's oh my God, hold on. So I'm, I have the nine of cups on the bottom of the deck here and I got to put this deck down. I got to switch decks, but I'm going to come back to that one in just a minute. I can tell, um, because I have the seven of swords under here. I knew it was under there. Um, Okay. I don't know what that's about yet, but I got to put it over there because it's important for some reason. Um, okay, so back over here to you. Um, this three of wands and this magician energy, this is you doing everything that you're supposed to be doing in order to make these dreams become a reality. You're about to be very happy. I feel like you've waited a long time for this to start coming together. Okay, I have never, I don't think I've ever said this in any reading I've ever done, but I feel like I'm reading for someone here who almost had like some kind of spiritual warfare or some kind of bad energy or some kind of someone with some malicious intent um, around you for a while. I, I'm, I like to be very positive in my readings. I don't like to focus on any kind of negativity. I don't like... Um, I don't love, I, I really don't enjoy a gossipy reading. I really don't, um, and I don't like saying things like I feel like somebody had some 
malintent towards you, but I do think somebody did. And I feel like you're coming out of a time where that was affecting you. Because I put this way over here in the corner for a reason. It's like it doesn't belong to you. It's like bad juju that doesn't belong to you. Um, all of a sudden, my back just got very hot. Um, whoever I'm reading for here, I've got this um, Nine of Pentacles, which is that minor arcana of the Empress. I feel like you're very independent. You may be a, an independent business owner, like a, a small business owner or something like that. And I feel almost like somebody tried to keep you from, I, I would not, I, I don't want to focus on it too much, but it feels like somebody was kind of trying to keep you from doing well or feeling good or, um, oh, wow. Um, you may have had a lot of health issues in the recent past. You may have, um, oh, it's not, it's not now that you're having these issues. It was like six months ago, um, nine months ago, something like that. You, you went through some kind of lengthy time where you may have been very depressed. You may have lost a lot of weight or gained a lot of weight or, um, felt really tired all the time or, um, like it could be a lot of different things. You may have experienced like a lot of like physical pain, like aches and pains for a while. <sighs> All right, let's not talk about that anymore. <laughs> I, I think that you're shifting out of that is my point. That's the whole reason why I think it's on this table in the first place is because all of this energy is so extremely positive, but I can see something happened here. This could have been, this could have been any number of people. I don't even know if I want to dig into it too much. I have Tor, um, the Hierophant here on the bottom of the deck, which is Taurus energy. I have um, the Hanged Man under that, which is Pisces energy. And somehow that seems significant. All righty, I'm gonna put this deck down now. <laughs> I'm gonna come back over here to this one and kind of continue a little bit over here with, um, I have the world card out, perfect. Um, you're ending that cycle, that's ended. Whatever that was has ended. And now we have some kind of a new change, a new beginning, like a total shift in your mentality. It's like the weight of the world is kind of lifted off of you. It feels like there's a lot more mental clarity now. It feels like you have more energy now. It's um, like you are looking better. You're looking more like yourself again. Um, this, whatever this situation was, I don't know if you knew that um, these, I guess we're going to talk about Okay. Um, I don't know if you knew that this was going on, but some of you may have um, felt very paranoid at some point. Some of you may have felt like um, very anxious. You may have had headaches or just this feeling of like lurking around you or like you were always being watched. Um, you can see all these hands around this person's neck and around their head, almost like forcing them to stay awake almost like maybe you were struggling with sleep I don't know but it was something that was like out of the ordinary okay like not something that would be like part of your normal routine it just felt okay <laughs> all right I'm gonna nah. let's uh switch gears here because I want to know a little bit more about what you're creating here somebody here has created something in that they've brought down from like fifth dimensional space into three dimensional space somebody here is about to like kind of take off and I'm gonna what do I want to use let's I want to use I'm just gonna use this tarot of wonderland over here I have the judgment card on the bottom of the deck which is an awakening um Kind of, it, it can sort of speak to resurrection. It can also be just an eye-opening moment where you have some clarity, right? Um, but there's something that kind of comes to fruition here, um, which I love. Oh, and it's only fair is what I'm hearing. It's only fair. I have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. There is, um, okay. 
Fair enough. And I've got the Nine of Pentacles out again. Um, that Nine of Pentacles is that minor arcana of the Empress. It's someone who is very independent and specifically lacking in codependency too, which is beautiful. I've got the Fool on the bottom of the deck. Nice. Um, that's a brand new beginning for someone. And it feels like um, I'm reading for someone here who is in the right place at the right time to attract what it is that they want in their lives. And I... Hold on. the nine of swords again ah, the three of cups over here Ooh. and the five of swords okay some of you um, have been the subject of a lot of gossip in the past um I'm hearing suspected, suspected. There, this is, um, I feel all of a sudden like a spotlight on me all of a sudden. Like you may have felt really vulnerable. I just saw 11, 11 on the counter. You may have felt very vulnerable during this time, I guess. This is important, I guess, to talk about because it has something to do with where you're going. It's like, it is always good to know where you've been, I guess, isn't it? But it keeps coming up here. It's almost like you, whoever I'm reading for, with this Nine of Pentacles coming out twice here like this, it's like you separated yourself from almost everyone. Um and just kind of went on about your business, it looks like. And um, a lot of you struggled during this time. A lot of you did use, some of you may have struggled financially, some of you may have lost a job, um, lost a home. There's like a lot of energy in this reading all of a sudden like my it's all centered around like my heart chakra like on the front and on the back I just saw 1221 on the counter um I have the temperance card that's Sagittarius energy and I have the devil under that Capricorn and I have the star card under that Aquarius And I have the Seven of Pentacles on top of the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you had delays in your finances. Some of you had delays in your love life because of this negative energy. And a lot of drama. spread some toxic um, things about you. Wow, what happened? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me see here. Because um, we, we have a new beginning here. And yeah, through this solitude is how you began. And there's the Seven of Swords again. Um, okay, yeah, and there it is, the Empress right under it. Perfect. So um, who? this is what I was just thinking to myself is like, who am I reading for here? Like, what is going on here? Are you like a politician or something? <laughs> um, but I, I don't know, whatever it is, there is a spotlight on you for whatever reason with this Empress energy and with this Nine of Pentacles coming out here twice, with this Sun card, with all this energy here, this, whoever I'm reading for you, there's something about you that you cause a big kaboom. Your energy is big. Um, and it may rub people the wrong way. You, there may be something about you. I get the impression you're very kind, you're very nurturing, you're a caretaker, you're very good to people, you're very loving. Um, it's like, um, like I couldn't possibly, well, let me just get another deck, I guess. Um, I, I can't, 
Um, I see. A lot of people are very attracted to you. And not everybody likes that. I saw that Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck a minute ago. I think I stuck it back in over there. Um, that Queen of Wands energy is someone who has um, a lot of charisma, someone who's very well liked, but they're, most people are very attracted to them. It causes problems. I'm seeing it all now because I have this Three of Cups on its side here. Um, oh boy. Um, that's which when the three of cups it comes out in the reverse that usually indicates a third party situation um, and it's really it's right over here with all this like gossipy slanderous drama energy all this instability all this anxiety all this paranoia it's all right there well I'm telling you all of that has kind of come to an end for whoever I'm reading for it has and I don't think I need to tell you that I think that you can feel this shift inside your body. There is like this return of energy to you. I feel so much better all of a sudden. I have the Empress out again, nicely done. Um, that's Virgo energy. But look at you, you beautiful, beautiful person. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't really matter. This Empress is someone who kind of has it all it looks like you've created your own empire here this is beautiful energy for you i'm so happy to see this because i'm telling you what whoever you are you went through something and it was I, I can't say anything other than like spiritual warfare kind of vibe and i don't know if you brought this on yourself or if this is just because <sighs> Haters love to hate or what, but there was some kind of no, no bueno here for a while for somebody. I'm, I'm hearing like, there's the seven of wands again with the drama. Um, I was specifically seeing like medical issues, like someone in a doctor's office having to be like, treated for something like off the wall or like the doctor looking at them and saying like there's nothing wrong here there's no problem i just saw 1717 on the counter oh you were exhausted that's what it was because i have the strength in the reverse here and that knight of swords um I, and you may not have been able to catch your breath or something exhausted. Okay. All right. More about now where you're at. Okay. I got the magician out again. So we have the magician, the magician, and that three of wands, which is the minor arcana of the magician for me. That magician card, um, I always associate it with Ophiuchus energy, but a lot of other readers will say Aries. That may be of significance to you. The magician is um, someone who takes action in a situation. They, their needs are met. Their spells, their intentions are backed up by the universe because they want the right things. Whoever this empress is, um, and I feel like it's you, whoever this empress is it's it's like you have you have such a good good heart good intentions that it's like you're i don't want to say untouched by this because i think you were quite touched by this whatever happened here but it's you've for like forced a change in your life you've created a change and shifted this energy um quite honestly through this <laughs> all of this love and positivity i think i don't know I have the justice card that's Libra um, you may have had court issues um, courtroom issues that didn't go well this was just an awful lot for your little self to carry whoever you are there is with this star energy that's Aquarius energy that's an energy of um, spotlight being shown over your head it can be the energy of fame it can be the energy of um 
you know, being divinely blessed. Um, you may have, you may be very gifted, like you might be a very gifted artist. Um, you may be um, very, very beautiful. You may be, you may have a beautiful singing voice. You may, um, there's some kind of quality in you. I, I quite honestly, you may just be an exceptional doctor, teacher, student. I don't know, whatever you do, you kind of stand out above a lot of the others and that attracts a lot of attention your way um, we can't get around the fact though that you're extremely nurturing extremely kind and like unconditionally loving to people though um, this shift started about um, two weeks ago the, um, this had something to do with a significant date like last month where you started to feel this shift it could have been around the moon like um, we had some interesting moons during Cancerian season, and it might have happened around one of those moons, either the new moon or the full moon. Okay, so what I'm hearing, and I'm sorry, it's taking me a minute to collect this information here because I feel like there's a lot of different energies at play here. Um, this this Eight of Wands is about communication. It's about like fast moving direct communication, but it's coming from a lot of different places. Whoever I'm reading for here, your your inbox is about to be full, like your, your text message inbox is about to be full. Um, and I, this Wheel of Fortune card came out and I heard what goes around comes around. And I feel like that's why we had to talk about this a little bit because I feel like all of a sudden there's gonna be a lot of people and a lot of the, these people are gonna be the people who were not really on your team for a while that are gonna be kind of coming back around whether you're gonna be running into them a lot and then catching up or whatever. Um, it's like suddenly this kind of outpouring of um, attention from a lot of the same people who were not um, very kind to you in the past. So this Wheel of Fortune energy over here, Sagittarius energy, is um, it's it's good karma um, when it comes out in the upright position. It's good karma. It's good timing. It's being in the right place at the right time. This is um, all of this that you have. Like somebody here basically cut through all of this these bad vibes with their good intentions, and that's you. You're the one who did that. I don't know what kind of mess you got yourself into here or who you were hanging out with or what happened over here, but there is this real rapid shift here, thank goodness, because where you were before was U-G-L-Y. It was rough and I think you kind of experienced it alone. I don't think that you really knew what was happening here. All of a sudden I kind of have like indigestion um, I don't want to stop this reading because um, it's kind of trippy, but I want to know where you're going here because with all this Empress energy here, like the scale, like something's finally like ended with this world card. Like I can't wait to see where you go now without all of this restriction on your, on your energy. Dang. You, and this flipped right over on this pile over here, but this uh, Eight of Swords came out on its side with the Five of Pentacles. Like you are no longer talking to these people. And my candle just went out on the table. <laughs> oh my goodness, interesting. Um, like you've cut off these people entirely out of your life.
That Eight of Swords is blocked communication, but nowadays in modern day tarot, it can be um, digitally blocking someone. So they can't like see your social media or they cannot text message you or they cannot um, see you or speak to you because you're really focusing on this new beginning. And this is a big deal, like whatever's coming towards you within the next calendar year. And it could even be in January, this coming January, 2023, your life is going to look a lot different than it does today. This Ace of Pentacles is like a, um, it's a new beginning. And you started with this Ace of Wands over here. So you got two Aces, um, but it's like you burned through it all. And now we've got some kind of new beginning here that is very solid. I love this for you. <laughs> I love how they're just like cutting through any kind of, um, I just got the sword there, like any kind of storm. And you've got the Empress again. Okay. Also, um, you need to really have some healthy boundaries. Maybe you didn't have the healthiest of boundaries in the past, and it looks like now you do. Um, Summit, wow. Let me just, okay. Um, this, this month, specifically Leo season, is going to be a really important month for you. And I don't know what it is that you're doing. I don't know if this is the month that you start whatever this is. Some of you are going to be starting a business of your own or something. If that's the case, this is the month to get all of your paperwork done, get everything put into the mail or whatever you got to do. I mean, we won't really mail things anymore, do we? Um, but... There's this energy of stability coming in here for someone, but this is that Four of Wands card. That's that 1111 card. It can represent a divine counterpart or twin flame union coming into place. Um, I said that before, like whatever this was, it was meant to like keep you, and I, I really hate saying things like this, but it feels like it was kind of meant to keep you from your person or keep you from um, achieving some kind of a goal, almost like, people were actually wishing you not the best. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I know the nicest people. And so when things like this come across my table, I'm always like, what is that? Um, and I really want you to know the nicest people. I want you to be surrounded by people who love you. Um, and so I think that whoever I'm reading for, you, you want that too. And I think you've worked really, really hard to cut people out of your life that you know don't have the best of intentions towards you. And if you didn't know it then, you do know it now. After all of this that you've been through, I have the Strength card, that's Leo energy, and the Justice again, which is Libra energy, and the Wheel of Fortune again. We're just going to be getting repeat cards out here. Um, healthy boundaries, really, really important. Watch who you align with. And you have love coming towards you that's very much a commitment. They could be a Cancerian. Um, much a commitment in the sense that um, you want to commit to them. <laughs> not like, oh, a commitment, oh, the commitment. I don't know if I can deal with that. Not like that. This is someone you want to commit to. They want to commit to you. This is nice. Um, some of you may have had to suppress feelings that you had for someone else because there was something over here. That, that three of cups is a little bit suspect. Suspect. That was a word that I saw or I heard a few minutes ago. All right, nine of swords again, seven of swords again. I mean, these are all just repeats. They're, they're all repeated. Um, it's time for this to change. I feel like it has, it's shifted. You have love that's coming towards you and it's happening this month. It feels like at the end of, this is what I was seeing. I was actually seeing like five weeks from now is when this happens, five to six weeks from now. could even be up to 10 weeks for some of you. 
<laughs> only because I'm doing math here, but I really do feel like it's like at the end of Leo season is when this love comes towards you. And I think it's going to be kind of a doozy. Like, I don't even want to like dig into it too much because um, I have the king and the queen of swords here, though. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and I've got the Six of Cups and the Lovers under that. So it's um, very possible that this could be an air sign that's coming towards you, but you guys are like intellectual matches. Um, it's like you guys kind of belong together. That Six of Cups is soulmate energy and that Lovers is, um, that's Gemini energy, incidentally. Um, but it's, it's like two people, it's like a meeting of the minds between the two of you. Some of you, this can be not even just a romantic partnership. I mean, I do get romantic partnership energy because of that Knight of Cups, but it could also be in business because this is like the, a meeting of the minds. It is like a sharing of a vision, sharing of a heart, wanting the same things. All right, anything else you want to say about this? I have the devil and I have the fool. Devil came out over here on this side and I got the hanged man here. And I know I got the hanged man here because it's been looking at me. Um, you've kind of been waiting for this whole thing to end. Yeah, and you just kept working and kept doing it, kept putting kept doing the steps whatever it was in between then and now but now we have this full energy which is the number zero that's a brand new beginning and that's the second time you've had that one out too um it's kind of time for all of this to shift like i said at the beginning of this reading it's like somebody has a whole new mental mindset man whatever this was over here it had um it got somebody kind of depressed kind of down for a while and now there's like this complete lift away of that fog and it's this is such good vibes this is such good vibes it's like someone has now changed the channel in their life does that make sense all right i love this i'm gonna leave this at that at this because it's i don't know whoever you are <laughs> I wish you well. I see this beautiful energy that you present to pretty much everyone that you encounter. And I love that. I feel like you're someone who loves people. Whatever happened here, I don't know, but it seems like it's done and over with. These people over here are very much over here. Like this pile is like way over here on this side of the table. And here you are like right here on this side of the table. All right. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. I wish you the very best. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mwah.